All right, in this video, I want to do an example of a word problem involving consecutive integers. And in this case, our integers are going to have to fulfill some requirement, namely that twice the sum of those two integers, that's going to be 61 less than the smaller. Okay, so to me, the first thing I want to do is try to create an equation out of this, this statement. So um, let's call our integers generically. Maybe I'll call the first one x. If, if one of the integers is x, we could call the other integer x plus 1. So to get to the next one, we would simply add 1 to this one, and then those would be consecutive. So now we have to turn this, this English again into something a little more mathy. So it says we have to take twice the sum of our two consecutive integers. So the sum of our two consecutive integers, well, we could just add them together x plus x plus 1. But then it says we have to take twice that. So be careful because we need to stick this whole quantity in brackets or, in, or another set of parentheses and multiply that by 2. Okay, If you don't use the brackets, you're only multiplying the smaller one by 2. So it says, so now we've got twice the sum of two consecutive integers. Is, you can read is as an equal sign. Okay, it's 61 less than the smaller. Okay, well the smaller number is x. And at this point I usually stop. I, I, I know on the right side I either have to make it minus 61 or plus 61, or you could put the minus 61 or plus 61 on the other side. So, you know, to me on the right side it's, it says you have twice the sum. Right now it says it's equal to the smaller one. But actually this left side is, is, is smaller than that. So to make everything balance out, we would also have to subtract this 61 from the right side. And now, to me, everything would kind of uh, would be equal. So now it's a matter of just doing the algebra and trying to simplify this down. So again, you could imagine there's a plus 1 in, uh, in front of the parentheses. So if you distribute that, it would just get rid of the parentheses. We would then have a 1x plus a 1x, which would be 2x. We would still have our plus 1 left over. On the right side, we have x minus 61. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute the 2 to both, uh, both terms inside the brackets. So 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2 equals x minus 61. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my x's on the left side, so I'll subtract x from both sides. Then we'll be left with 3x plus 2 equals negative 61. And then I'm going to move the positive 2 over by subtracting 2 from both sides. And now we're left with 3x equals negative 63. But now I'm simply going to divide both sides by 3. If you take negative 63 and divide it by 3, we'll get negative 21. So the smaller integer was negative 21. And if we add 1 to that, we would get negative 20. So it says our two integers that fit the bill here, our two integers are going to be the numbers negative 21 and also negative 20.